Today we're going to talk about the number one lie that's keeping you in a financial trap and broke forever. Would you like to know what it is? Well, the thing that's number one in my list, according to the research that I've done, is probably that there's a single reason for you being in a financial struggle or broke. There's lots of factors or lots of small reasons that together kind of keep you broke or poor. One of the most common is you spend too much, so you should spend less, which is, of course, a problem. Why is it a problem? It's a problem because usually you can only spend less and less because you need to spend on some things like food. You need to spend on probably heating during the winter, cooling during the summer. You probably need to pay electricity and water. So what's it all about? You can, of course, spend less and less, but you eventually reach the minimal level of spending. So what can you do? You can, of course, spend on education and try to earn more. But then again, you have to spend and whether the return on investment, whether you will increase your salary or income is a bit tricky, isn't it? When will you receive that raise? When will you get money back? When will that course or that additional degree pay off? When I started to study MBA and PhD, I did a five-year calculation. That means I kind of reckoned that in five years, I should come back my investment. Did it? What well, kind of did? But the point is, I took at the numbers and I compared different options that were available in terms of tuitions that I had to pay. Not every tuition is worth paying. Not every scholarship is worth taking. Not every course is worth taking. Sometimes it's even better just to read a book that you get from the library, not just buy it. Investments can be and will always will be a matter of priority. So how can we address the number one lie that's just one factor? Well, it's kind of difficult, but it kind of isn't. Why is it not so difficult? Because once you reach something, once you start to measure something, once you focus on it, it will be much better just by looking at it. It's just a matter of psychological advance and focus. The second thing is, once you start focusing on it, you will also start focusing on solutions. Your brain will automatically, whether consciously or subconsciously, start thinking about a solution to the problem. What's a solution? Well, it can be complex, it can be simple, but most often there's not a simple, easy answer that you can go and apply over the night. I wish there were, but there isn't. There's usually a complex or a simple solution that can take quite a lot of time, usually. There are, of course, you know, exceptions. What you can do is make a plan. Make a plan to be less financially unstable. Make a plan that you will reach a certain possible outcome. Then, and only then, once you have this possible realistic outcome, do a 10x. Make it absurd, because you need to aim for the stars in order to land on the moon. It's perhaps a bit, you know, optimistical, but your mind will start working on a different level and a different perspective once you try to reach a 10x or 10 times more than if something is probable or reasonable. The solutions are different and also the methods and the courses or anything is different. If you want a 1% raise, that's an easy solution. It's a solution that probably dictates that you work a bit more and that you need to somehow tell your boss that you are a good worker and that you need to raise. But probably 1% raise in your salary won't do it, will it? You probably need more than that. You probably need a significant raise in order for your life standard or life to be at least bearable or you know improved. So what can you do? Well, you need to start thinking about the 10x option. That probably means you need to take additional courses, get some skills and probably change your job. But you're already broke. You're already in a tough spot. And now I'm telling you to change ship, to change your financial options that are already minimally viable. Yeah, I'm not saying it's easy. It will take a lot of time. So don't do it overnight. You need to start prepping for your interviews. You need to start prepping for your new job. And you need to start building up those skills. If you're looking for a job that pays the amount of money that you need, then, of 
course, you need to see what skills do you need because you probably don't have them yet. If you, those skills are easy to obtain, easy, but usually they aren't. It's a matter of time and effort, so you need some time to gain them. But at the same time, you should already apply for those jobs. Even if you don't get selected, you will get some experience in the interview. How and what the linguistic, the slang of the job is. What kind of questions do the interviewees ask? And perhaps sometimes you will get a break and you get offer your choice. Perhaps sometimes you won't be even, even offered to come to the interview. And sometimes they will ask you to, to prepare some written example of your work. Then you will have to work extra hard. But like I said, it's a matter of different things. You need to plan, you need to prepare, and you need to work on yourself. And you need to get yourself out there and to start thinking better. It's not simple and it's not difficult. It just takes a lot of time. But what if you have reached so-called the plateau? Well, then, then, and only then, or even perhaps before, do you have to think about the 10x option? How can I get higher than this plateau? How can I get something that's perhaps too ambitious for now, but I can work towards it? Now, of course, somebody will say, but I need a solution today. Well, for today, you know, and your brain knows, there's not a simple solution. You have to perhaps spend a bit less. You can perhaps cancel a subscription or two, but... If you want to earn more money and not be broke, you need to invest in yourself so you earn more. And at the same time, spend a curl a bit of your expenses. Not too much because you don't want to kill yourself. But then again, you are aiming, you're suffering for the greater good, for something, for a plan for six months or one year. And you need to be working on it, not just throwing a pity party. Because you're not a pity party. You're in the gut in order to achieve something. You need to go through the trenches and now you have a goal. And if you have a goal, you also have a motivation. Do you want to be broken stuck? Or do you want to get a glimpse or a taste of the financial freedom you want? So, can you get a hack in terms of start working on yourself and start working on your skills and start seeing what the market pays more than is paying you now. Is it going to be ups and downs? Of course, that's life is all about. And you know it already. But if you want to go there, and I think you do, you need to start planning. And you need to start implementing. And you, you need to stop throwing a pity party. Why? Because throwing a pity party puts your mind in a depressive mode. You don't need a depressive mode. You don't need to waste the time for feeling sorry about yourself. And I'm not saying you will feel excellent all the time, because you won't. You'll probably have some downtime. But think of it like this. If you're really committed to it, and I think you are because you have watched my video, then you're planning and you're going to execute to be better. You don't want to be broke, so stop thinking like you will be broke all the time. Start acting that you're not broke now. You probably heard that advice, but it just means be specific. It just means that you're planning to be better, that you're planning to get more money, that you're planning a more income or a better business or a better entrepreneurship or a company. Whatever it is, stop making excuses. You need to start work on yourself, not watching some Netflix show. Build the skill set that needs to be done in order for you to be a high gainer, a high achiever. To gain and attract more money. Is it going to be easy? No. But then again, is it worth it? Of course. Throw me a comment down below how it started, how it's going. I will reply to you. And I think and I hope and I pray that you succeed. Not everybody's going to succeed, but I hope you will.